Hey guys, so we've all had good and bad teachers over the course of the years at school. And I guess that's something that I think about more than other people because I am currently studying to become a teacher and even though I'm only going to be a sophomore come this fall and I've only taken like one actual education class so far, I still like that education class kind of really made me think about education more last semester and in addition to that I kind of like think back to the teachers that I used to have and that kind of shapes what I want to be like as a teacher. So this video is basically just going to be two things that I've kind of learned about teaching based on the teachers I've had in the past. One thing being something I learned from my favorite teacher ever, and another thing being something I learned from my least favorite teacher ever. The first thing, something I learned from my favorite teacher ever, is that being strict isn't necessarily a bad thing. My favorite teacher that I ever had kind of had a reputation for being really strict and I was actually scared to be in her class prior to being in her class and um, because I was just scared of her basically based off of what I had heard about how strict she was. Then when you're when I was in her class she was she was strict. She was a fairly strict teacher although I was in elementary school at the time so who knows how I'm like thinking back on it compared to how it like really was, you know, but she she was a strict teacher and she didn't really put up with anything, you know, like we got punished if we did something and all of that and we always knew that we had to follow the rules or we would be punished and she was very strict and expected a lot from us in like a lot of ways, but I also, especially once I was out of her class, realized how good that was for us, especially at that age, I think. I think she was the same teacher that made me realize that being strict doesn't necessarily mean being mean. There's a big difference between that because, I mean, my great-grandmother passed away when I was in her class and I have very vivid memories of her comforting me about my great-grandmother dying. She wasn't at all mean. She was a really nice person, she was really nice to all of us, and she really cared about all of us, and you could really tell. But she was strict because she cared about us and she wanted us to learn, and she just, I really began to realize that come after, and I really started to realize that after being in her class. But it took me even longer to like fully realize that because looking back on it, some of my favorite teachers I ever had, not just including her, were teachers that were known to be strict. And some of them that I was actually kind of scared to be in their class, even up through high school, because I knew that they were strict before I went into their class. And then I got in their class and realized that, yeah, they could be strict, but they were also really great people, and they really taught me a lot. And the fact that they were strict wasn't really a bad thing. The second thing I learned is something that I learned from my least favorite teacher ever, who I really doubt will ever see this video, but I don't think he'll realize that I'm talking about him if he does, but it's basically to actually listen to what your students have to say. Now, there were a number of reasons why I didn't really like this teacher, um, and I'm not going to go into all of them. I still, it's also really important to note that I still respected him. I didn't like start fights with him like I've seen other kids do or anything like that because he was still a teacher. But there were a lot of things that he did that were not like I would not do as a teacher myself and I did not like as a student. One of those things was um, a story of something that happened when I was in his class. He actually, he asked us for our opinions on something and I was talking and in the middle of me talking he cut me off told me that he didn't want to talk about that like because he didn't care about it. He flat out said he didn't care about it and would not let me finish what I was saying, which frustrated me a lot because he'd asked for our opinions and I wasn't being disrespectful or anything like that and I felt what I had to say was really important to what was going on and he would not let me talk. And that's just one example of a lot of like similar things that happened in his classroom. He wasn't over, like, I don't know how best to describe this, but he just kind of gave off a sense of he knew more than we did and 
he was like the final authority, which is true, he was the teacher and therefore the final authority, and he is supposed to teach us, so hopefully he does know more than us, but he kind of went about it in a, like, a belittling way, like he kind of, most of us were juniors and seniors in high school, I think, I think there were some sophomores in that class, maybe some freshmen too, but I think the majority of, I think the majority of the class was juniors, and I was a senior at the time. And he just kind of treated us as if we didn't know what we were talking about all of the time. And there are like a number of problems that I have with this, one of them being that kids need to know that what they have to say is important. It's one thing if you have a student who's being disrespectful or being mean to others or something, but the majority of the time when a student is talking in class it's because they feel that what they have to say is important and you should probably listen to them. Secondly, we were in high school. High school is meant to prepare you for the world after high school, and whether that be college or working or whatever, we are so close to being adults. In fact, I was an adult when I was in this class because I was 18 and there were several other 18 year olds in that class. So we're expected to be adults and by that point in time we should be treated like adults. I'm not saying that he should have treated us like complete equals because he is still the teacher, but it just kind of gives off a sense of us being kids and not fully being on his level when he wouldn't let us even complete our thoughts because he didn't want to talk about it. At that point in your schooling, you're getting really close to doing... You're getting really close to going off into the world on your own. And he would even talk to us about what we had planned after high school and things like that. And... But he wouldn't... He didn't treat us like adults or with the respect I think he should have. And I just think that that is really important thing to do. And I know that was kind of a rant and kind of went everywhere, but basically what I'm saying is just that teachers should take what students are saying seriously because what students are saying is important to them and they shouldn't belittle them or treat them like as less than a person, which isn't exactly what he was doing, but just don't insult their intelligence basically. Especially by high school, they're fairly intelligent and just because you were there to teach them doesn't mean they don't know things that you don't too, and you should listen to what your students have to say. And I think that is all I have to say for this video, so I will see you guys later.